Hey guys, it's Justin Goodbread, Financially Simple. So I wanted to give you the garden update this week. It is on. Let me tell you, we got some groceries coming in now and I am super excited. So I've been working a ton of hours. There's my little girl Dixie and Rebel back there. Good Southern names. Anyways, we've been working a ton of hours at the office and so I have not been in the garden as much as I should or could or wish I were, but been working nonetheless. What I want to show you, we, we obviously I can go over the tomato plants. They're growing. We probably picked uh, two bucketfuls of tomatoes already. Probably have another 10 or 15 on the vine right now. But uh, let me show you this right here. Right here, behind me. Yeah, this plant right here. We thought, or I thought, I should say, I thought that was like a, um, a uh, butternut squash that maybe whenever I dropped, whenever we were planting, ends up, it's a watermelon. Whoo, yeah, buddy. We have got watermelon on the vine. I'm talking about, oh, it's gonna be good. Mm. So anyways, we're gonna let it grow. We're gonna let it grow all throughout the garden, wherever it wants to go. By the time it reaches the tomato plants, they'll be done, uh, we'll be finished out. We are getting about, um, about 10 peppers a day right now. I wanna show you these. Um, here's one of my peppers. We just picked this out the other day. And you can see there are two peppers. I mean, that's a good pepper right there coming in. So our peppers are coming in. And here is the okra. So the okra is coming in. You can see these right here. This is the uh, okra, the pod, so to speak. If I could point to that correctly with the fall, I'm trying to do this. So that's the okra pods. And we have two rows of okra. And they are coming up. And in about another week, we're going to be picking okra. So coming down to the stuff that my wife loves, the green beans. Okay, we got weeds everywhere through the green beans. Don't worry about it. We have picked probably two five gallon bucketfuls of green beans already. And I'll just kind of show you. I'm gonna reach down over here. Here's a green bean right here. I mean, you can't do any better than that. That's a great stringless green bean. I got something on my shirt. Great stringless green bean. And they're everywhere. So we're gonna, we're gonna finish those up this week. Um, the cucumbers, you can see them all behind me. They haven't reached the top wire yet. We've got probably a bucket full of cucumbers already. We're going to start, I am going to start making some pickles. I love homemade pickles. I gave some to a client of mine a couple years ago. She's raved about them ever since. So I just love homemade pickles. Now through here, if you remember, I had a bunch of beans and it was a garden jungle, like, you know, three, four, five foot high in the last couple of weeks. I came through with a tractor, mowed it down. The beans didn't have that much produce on it, and it just I just couldn't just have been out here to keep it up with the weeds. However, I walk this way a little bit. You can probably see right here behind me, right there. There's a tractor tire. There are beans here in this row, and instead of um, instead of mowing them down, I just cut the weeds top to about four foot tall. Because of that, the sunlight was able to get into the green to the beans. The beans have now grown up higher than the um, than the weeds, and now they're covered in green beans. So those are my contender beans there, and um, they're doing great. We we probably have, and I'm not exaggerating, maybe three or four bucket full of green beans there to pick off the vine, and we'll do that this weekend and start canning some green beans. I may shoot a quick video on that as we're canning them out. Then our, um, as you remember, we had our our um, lima beans. They already got flowers on them. We plant them about two weeks after everything else and they're coming in. And then I'm gonna walk here to a cool plant. This is my wife. She loves this plant. Um, if you look down behind me, you can see all this stuff. If I can point out behind me there, all this. This is actually what's called a butternut squash. So those of you who don't know it, that's what it looks like. And it'll get dark brown. In fact, there's two of them right there. They grow on a vine. And they'll get a little bit bigger than this, and they'll turn like a khaki brown. And when they turn almost a khaki brown, you pick them, or you can let them dry on the vine. So they're everywhere. She uses those for different, different uh, plants, and I'm sorry, different produce. Now the thing that everybody's been waiting for, you know the song, corn won't grow at all on rocky top, ground's too rocky by far. Let me show you, folk. It's all in what you know. Look at what we have. We have corn, yeah! So, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, I have may have broken the trend. 
everything's coming in. Yeah, there's a ton of weeds. I don't give a flying flip. I don't have time to get out here every day and weed this garden. We have got a ton of produce with just a little bit of money spent. We're gonna be able to feed like the uh, National Guard with the amount of green beans we got coming out here, right? Tomatoes, oh, she made some salsa the other day. Let me tell you, until you've had some fresh garden salsa with fresh herbs and fresh onions all mixed together, you've not lived, friend. So I wanted to give you a garden update. Hey, look, so here's the deal. Let me apply this to business for a second. Many of us are business owners and the clients I work with, we're all business owners and we get out every day and we just wear ourselves out serving our customers, trying to make market share, do the things which drive revenue to our businesses. And our customers are grateful and we're thankful for that. We really love what we do. Ultimately though, in the first couple of years, we bust our tails and we need to often see the revenue. Then all of a sudden, it comes. If you're in a business right now and you're saying, hey, I, I, I'm trying to figure out how to grow more revenue, think of gardening. You reap what you sow. You're going to get out here like I did, like my family has done this year. You're going to get out and you're going to till up the garden and you're going to sweat. You're going to get all stinky and you're going to nurture. And then before you know it, life's going to happen. You're going to get a little distracted. Next thing you know, you turn around. All that that you've sown inside your garden. Hey, there's a deer like running by the property. Anyways, all that you've sown inside your garden or inside your business, you will reap the reward. You will. It's the pure logic. You reap what you sow. So if you're in your business, reap. I mean, I sow, 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 and eventually you will reap. You just got to have the stamina and the wherewithal to, to make it through that phase of life. So, guys, this is Justin. I want to give you a garden update. I will probably be picking green beans next time you see me. I may even record myself eating these things. Let me tell you. Fresh garden green beans. Mm. Hey, y'all, look. Let's make it a great day today. 